Natural Bridge State Park. Unmanned State Park, meaning there's no office that I can tell. At this point, I'm getting desperate to find a state park with actually personnel at it because I have a temporary pass right here that you can get off a kiosk, but then you only got, you basically have 30 days to find an actual state park that's staffed to get your annual state park pass from them. I only have three days left to be able to, to get my actual state park pass for the year but all these state parks I go to are unstaffed currently. I'm going to try to see where in the world this natural bridge is. Alright so we're currently right here we want to walk up up this over into that star it looks like so I guess let's get after it It is so windy out today, about 30, 30, 32 degrees, super windy, actually windy enough where a guy almost gets a little bit worried about limbs coming down on you walking through the, the forest, but uh, I'll just try to stay vigilant. I will say, when it's this windy, it takes 32 degrees and makes it feel definitely way colder. trails kind of making me wish I would have put my my yak tracks for ice on my feet hopefully it's not like this for too long Now that is cool. That's very cool and very not common for this part of the country. All right, well, there's a sign that definitely says to stay on trail. It is a little hard when it's snow covered to actually tell what the trail is, but it was very clear not to climb on or around the bridge. So we will certainly respect that and definitely not do that. But I am gonna take you in here. I mean, just years and years of people carving there names and stuff in the rock. But in here, also not sure that this is, if this is okay or if it's frowned upon, but as you can see, we are under the shelf. 
and there is a fire ring in here with little rock seats and a little log for a seat. I would say if I was a if I had to guess it would be frowned upon that someone's doing this. So So the arch was just down around that corner and this appears to be a place where the fence has been knocked down and people walk to the top of the arch, which is precisely what the sign down there said not to do. So that's just really unfortunate. People like that are what's going to eventually I feel ruin it for everyone else and they just won't let people come and look at stuff like this. So. Just beautiful out here. Another pretty cool rock structure up there. rock outcropping, I guess you could call it. So, what have I learned about this state park? It's probably the smallest state park I've ever been to. I would say it's more reminiscent of uh, the average county park size. There's just one little parking lot and a very small trail system that just basically does a loop back to the parking lot. So, I had not been here before, wanted to check it out. I've passed this county park so many times when I'm off traveling for work and I've always wanted to stop and check it out because natural arches, natural bridges, they're just not common in this in this part of the country. All right, so we, I was just looking at a map there and we want to go this way. Now, I need to figure out where to stay tonight. I have no clue where to stay. There's no camping at this state park. So that's not an option. So once we get back to the truck, you will notice that there's a little change to it. Uh, don't know if you guys will like it or not like it. I'm still on the fence, but I put my uh, cab height topper back on instead of my uh, high rise topper. So my, my big topper has an eight inch rise for tons of headroom, which is super nice. But with having it on all the time and also, you know, having to use that truck as my everyday driver and work truck. Uh, it just doesn't fit. It's not very convenient because it doesn't fit in a lot of places. So I have a three inch lift on the truck first off with oversized tires, plus a topper that sits eight inches higher than the cab. So, and for work I unfortunately have to do a lot of uh, staying in cities, which is a lot of parking ramps. Truck wouldn't fit in a parking ramp. Recently went on a little trip with Lauren to the Mall of America we struggled to find a parking spot because truck won't fit in any of the parking ramps. Also, truck won't fit into uh, normal automatic car washes. So, lots of things that just made the day-to-day -day struggle a little bit more. On the flip side, you have all kinds of room in there. I'm going to give the cab height topper a try for a while because I think the benefits will outweigh the cons to it. 
I mean, I'm generally not trying to stand up in the back of the truck anyways too much. I'm just sitting or laying, so. Also, technically, it should be easier to heat with a topper that ain't still low. I just about slipped on some mud. Right there. Y'all about witnessed me go down. Well, there, there she is in all her glory. So that was roughly a three quarter mile hike. So not bad. I would say most people could hike it. Um, there was no rough like stuff you had to climb up or nothing. It was just some uphills and downhills. Um, a few roots here and there that you got to be careful not to not to trip on. Super cool and pretty hike. The arch is totally worth the, I don't know, quarter mile, if that, that you got to hike to get to it. So now I'm sitting in the parking lot. Day's coming to an end. I would say I probably got an hour and a half, two hours of daylight left. And I got to figure out where to where to camp tonight. I don't know where to camp tonight yet. In the meantime, while I'm trying to figure out what to do next, uh, I'll show you some footage of a trip that Lauren and I took um, in our new van. Yeah, that's right. We got a new van for the channel. Um, and when I say new, it was cheap. It was it was below $2,000. It's a 1999 Chevy Astro van, all-wheel drive. And I bought it. It needs work. So it's definitely going to be a project for the channel. I'm going to just do little things to it as I can, fix what needs to be fixed on it. And uh, I'll bring you guys along with. It's going to be a fun project. Lauren and I are both very excited about it. But we took it out. I mean, it runs, it drives, all that stuff. It just needs work. So uh, anyhow, we took it kind of on a local trip. It was about 45 minutes from the house. We went to Wailusian State Park just to give it a trial run. First night trial run. And nothing on the van let us down. It was our own mistake in that we... We, because there was two of us, we brought an air mattress. Well, we had, so the van is a much bigger space to heat, first off. So I don't think my infrared heater, or our infrared heater, was quite up to snuff to try to heat that whole van. And then second, I learned the hard way that air mattresses, just normal air mattresses that are not rated for cold weather, definitely suck the heat out of you. So unfortunately, we didn't even make it the whole night before we called it and went home. We finally, in the middle of the night, we're like, we're just too cold. So we had blankets, plenty of blankets. So it was weird because our top half, like, was warm, but the air mattress was just sucking the heat out of us. Like we just could not get warm. And uh, we also had both dogs with, feeling bad because we thought maybe the dogs were getting cold too. They weren't like acting like they were cold, but I don't know. It just wasn't going as planned, so we ended the trip. But I'm going to show you some footage of that. Also, um, I was traveling for work this week, and I happened to drive by something I've seen in the past, but I have never was able to get up close to it to actually see what it was about. But I went and got some footage of the country's, lar the country's tallest symbol of freedom. So after I show you Lauren and I's little trip with the van, I will show you a few little clips of the country's tallest symbol of freedom. It's actually 100 feet taller than the Statue of Liberty. So hopefully you enjoy the footage of both of them. And in the meantime, I'm going to try to figure out what what to do next year for where I'm going to stay.
Uh -huh. All right, friends, we're in the van for the first night. We're excited. <laughs> we got Jax, our one of two dogs, is outside. Nigel's sitting right here, acting like he's captain of the van right now. <laughs> Keeping an eye on everything. But I'm hungry. I don't know, are you hungry? Yes, okay, very. So <laughs> we're going to make some food. There we go. It's just a little impromptu night anyway. Yeah. <laughs> this was a spur of the moment. Let's take the van out. Yep. So it's, it is what it is. We'll get it fixed up nice. Yeah. <laughs> Time to eat. This is the first time Lauren's ever tried one of these. I'm very excited. They sound amazing. Too hot? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that is good. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's surprisingly good. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> so, last time I was sitting and enjoying this beef stroganoff was when I was looking out the back of the topper. And I watched that lady back her little car right into the snowbank. Get stuck. <laughs> All right, we got everyone in for the night. Got the heater on, got the table up. And later on, we'll actually put out an air mattress when it's the both of us. But we don't need that out yet, so we got our chairs set up. Nig Nigel's up in the captain's chair. Jax. He's a little younger. Yeah, so he's he just, a little more. He's on the move. He's a hyper guy. What do you smell? He's been outside. But he's in now. In for the night. Time and to stay cozy. We just got the... Got this all set up so we can watch a movie. Or watch some videos or something on it. Mm -hmm. But we gotta let it charge a little bit. First. So that's what we're doing now. We'll pull up the sheet later. Yep, then we got the sheet to go across until we get curtains to block off the front. Yep. Worked on the Reflectix today. Yeah, so we got Reflectix on all the windows. <laughs> it's a work in progress, that's for sure. It is. It's only been about one week of ownership, right? Yeah, and both of us work all, all week long, so really we've had today to work on it and put up Reflectix and stuff. Yep. The van was cheap. The price was right. It definitely needs work. But we'll just work at it a little bit here and there and eventually it'll be a nice rig. Yes, it will. Kids and I worked on the interior cleanup somewhat the best we could. Needs a little more work still at the cleanup, but 100 times better. We'll get some new carpet eventually too. Jax, lay down. Lay down. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. I call him ears. <laughs> He's got some big ears. We keep wondering if he'll grow into them someday, but he never does. No, nope. His birthday will be in March. Baby boy's turning three. You turning three. Eventually we'll have better light in here, I promise. <laughs> like we said, we've had no time to work on this yet other than clean it, basically. Literally just came up with the idea of taking it out today, so. Not too shabby. Come on, Jax, get up here. <laughs> Jax will be up there and back there and up there and back there and up there all night. That's just how he is. Yep. He's a busy guy. Nigel is like five or six years older than Jax, so. Yeah. He'll probably just stay right in that chair and be perfectly content. Yes, all night long. <laughs> staring at nothing. <laughs> He's staring out the window into the dark right now. We should have brought the other electric heater like I recommended. Mm -hmm. I think once we are in the bed together, I think oh, we'll Oh, there's up. a draft. 
Did I tell you you couldn't bring the other heater? Because yeah. I don't remember that. I think you did. I don't think so. friends well unfortunately we got to call it we're just not set up enough in here what's the temp the air mattress is just sucking heat out of us 35.2 degrees outside 57 in here but the air mattress is way colder than 57 it's just taking all the heat from or it's taking all the cold air from outside coming up through and sucking the heat right out of me. Dogs are cold. We're cold. Yeah, dogs are uncomfortable. They're just pacing. Nigel ain't, but Jax is. Luckily, it's only about a 45-minute drive home. And we had a nice little adventure, a good trial run. Now we know it won't work in the winter. The air mattress won't work in the winter. The van will. But yep. We got need a better heat heater and... The air mattress is a no-go. Maybe we'll try again with a different heater. All right, later, friends. right there friends is one big flag we're gonna try to get closer to it see if I can find some stats That's probably the biggest flag pole and flag I've ever seen in person. I'll try to look up some stats here and see if there is any online. This this flag pole is was put up by an insurance company actually. It's a great big huge insurance company called Acuity. Um, Acuity has more than 760 pavers surrounding the flag pole with names of Sheboygan area residents who died serving the significant global conflicts like the Civil War, World War I and II, and the Vietnam War. The flag and flagpole at Acuity in Sheboygan, Wisconsin is the world's tallest symbol of freedom. The flag sits at 70 feet tall. The flag itself is 70 feet tall by 140 feet long. The flagpole stands nearly 100 feet taller than the Statue of Liberty and the 9,800 square foot flag weighs in at 250 pounds. I don't know, I've been through Sheboygan a few times, I've always seen that flag. I've even went out um, charter fishing out on Lake Michigan and you can be, you know, six miles out on the water and you can still see that flag just flying high. So, and the flag is two miles inland from shore, so. It's definitely a big flag, and I've always wanted to come right up close to it like we just did, just to see it.
table up no more wobbly table so that's nice so they make this is the bigger of the two they make a slightly smaller one of these and i'm definitely going to get that so this will work good in the van and like camper stuff like that but i think i would much rather have the slightly smaller one for inside the truck okay so we're going to have some beef stroganoff and we're also going to pair that with some four cheese mashed taters and I got a squeak in here that I'm going to have to take care of. Sooner rather than later, sounds like. Alright, so how much water are we going to need? Oh, this table's so much nicer than that little... That other one worked really good though. I mean, it's better than no table. This one's just so much more solid. Beef stroganoff and potatoes. I mean, can a guy go wrong? All right, well, we're done using that now, so I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna shut this. Also, I got some beef jerky. I don't know, I call them beef jerky plugs. From Old Trapper. They're pretty good. Oh yeah, beef stroganoff and mashed potatoes. That's a good combination right there. So far, I've, I only really like the beef stroganoff from Mountain House. I've tried a few others, and uh, I don't know. I just like this one the best. All right, friends. I'm going to get laid down in bed here. Well, I think I'm going to hit the hay. We'll see all of you in the morning. Oh, man. Oh, sun right in the whole eye holes. Good morning, friends. be honest with you guys I made a big mistake putting this little topper back on yes you can wash the truck easier yes you can find places to park easier but it's just so low I mean my head's hitting right now at one point last night I even sat up I don't know if I was having a dream or what but I sat up fairly quickly and just whacked my head on the top of the topper so we'll be putting the tall topper back on and I'll just deal with the slightly worse fuel mileage and slightly more inconvenient at times when you're trying to find a car wash or a parking spot somewhere 23 degrees outside 50 degrees in here so I'll put my button up back on Lauren got me this for Valentine's Day and it's awesome. It's so warm. She got it off uh, Legendary Whitetails website. Uh, like right now, I just want to put my head up and I can't. Sometimes lessons are learned the hard way. And I certainly am no stranger of learning lessons the hard way. So we're going to try this for breakfast. All right, friends, there it is. So it basically looks like hash browns, eggs, peppers, and chunks of sausage. It also looks lava hot. Been just enjoying my morning, watching the little squirrel or two frolicking around behind the truck here. eat my wires you little you little squirrel
Okay, breakfast breakfast one ain't bad. It's hot. Yeah, that'll be a good that'll be a good breakfast. So I'm gonna finish eating that. Not bad. Could use a little salt. Um, but I would say the beef stroganoff is still my favorite. This currently is probably my second favorite though, out of the Mountain House brand that I've tried. So see about getting the day started here. I gotta go up to the front office and redeem my yearly pass because all I got is the little temporary one right now. They claim to be open 10 to 4, so hopefully that is the case. All right, friends. Well, I'm glad you joined me on another one. Sorry about it being kind of like all over the place. Uh, that's That was my life the last two weeks, kind of all over the place. So um, it is what it is. I, I learned a valuable lesson. I want my tall topper back on, so we're going to put that back on. Yeah, the fuel mileage is nice, and uh, the ease of getting it through a car wash and parking ramps and stuff like that is nice with a shorter topper, but, you know, I spend way more time sitting in the topper than I do washing it or trying to park in parking ramps with it, so that was a bad call on my end to, to try the smaller topper. The comfort's just not there. I need that head that I need that headroom. So we'll get that put back on for next video, and uh, we'll certainly be less all over the place. But hopefully, you enjoyed some of the footage that I did get over the last couple of weeks. As always, we'll see you on the next one.